Phoebe asked the bold and the beautiful revealed that Taylor's family was in serious trouble when Taylor tried to defend Brooke. For Taylor, Brooke has now become a close friend and she doesn't allow anyone to offend Brooke. Ridge and Thomas felt the pact between Taylor and Brooke was meaningless. Why would Taylor swear she would never go back to Ridge when they were family? They thought Brooke and Taylor's pact was nonsense and Taylor could just forget about it. Still, Taylor's adamant about what she promised Brooke. She wouldn't betray their pact. Although Thomas and Ridge had a very harsh attitude, Taylor was determined not to care. The battle between the two sides gradually becomes tense. Thomas didn't understand why Taylor chose to stand up for Brooke when he was her family. Meanwhile, Paris is growing tired of life in America. She felt the place was too stuffy for her to relax. Paris also repeatedly encountered failure in love affairs. This place was filled with painful memories, so she wanted to leave as soon as possible. She decided to return to her hometown of London. Paris felt very missing London, and at least that place gave her the most peaceful feeling. Grace, of course, did not want Paris to leave the United States. Zoe has also left here. Grace has only one daughter close to her, but Paris continues to want to return to London, making her very disappointed. Grace tries to convince Paris to think again. Anyway, Paris's job is stable, so if she moves to another place, it will be very inconvenient. Grace doesn't want Paris to move out, but it seems there's nothing she can do about it. Paris has made a decision and no one can change it. Elsewhere, Hollis still hasn't given up on pursuing Brooke. He was really attracted to a woman older than him and couldn't get away. Brooke is still very hesitant and she's not ready to open up to another man. But Hollis was very persistent and he didn't want to give up halfway. He really liked Brooke and he decided to make another date proposal. Hollis is a very kind man and he also made a good impression on Brooke. But will Brooke agree to Hollis's dating offer? Hollis had absolutely no intention of forcing Brooke. He just hoped she would give him a chance to express his feelings. He believed that as long as Brooke had more contact with him, she would develop feelings for him. Brooke may have begun to open up a bit more to Hollis, but Ridge was still a man she could hardly let go of. What will Brooke have to do in this dilemma?